In this Grasshopper tutorial for beginners, I want to explain uh, how we can define an ellipse uh, by defining two number sliders, as you can see here. Uh, then we're going to define how many uh, number of divisions of pattern we're going to have on this, as you can see here, uh, by increasing that the pattern is going to increase on the ellipse. Uh, then we're going to uh, control the pattern by an X move and a Z move, as you can see here. I can also give it a height so you can understand it better. So this exercise is going to help you to understand uh, how we can play with the patterns and repeats in Grasshopper. Uh, then we're going to also control the overall shape of the surface with an offset as you can see here. Also the number of arcs we're going to use to make the final surface as you can see here I can increase the arcs to make the surface and then we're going to use the kangaroo plugin to convert it into a diagonal pattern which is not really that important but you can uh, convert the shape into a diagonal pattern and also give it a thickness by using the viva build plugin so this uh, tutorial for beginners is going to help you to understand patterns uh, how you can use the arc sed tool which is really great if you want to uh, make a parametric surface from it and then finally give it a diagonal pattern using the kangaroo plugin. Okay, let's get started from scratch. Uh, first, what I want to do is to make an ellipse. So I'm going to go to curve uh, primitive and use the ellipse command. Uh, this uh, component, uh, let me just also put the draw form names here, uh, is obviously a plane. If you connect a params menu point to it and set a point, this is going to help us to control the location of the ellipse wherever we want. Uh, also, we can give a number slider to here, to the radius 1 and radius 2. That is going to control the overall shape of it. Okay, that is the first step, which is going to be the ellipse. The next step is going to be uh, the pattern we want to make on the ellipse. So for example, if I want to make a pattern, uh, assume that we divide this into a series of points and then move these points in a direction. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about planes. So assume this is a perpendicular frame uh, or plane on this uh, ellipse. Then we can move this in the x direction, which is local on this curve and also the y direction and then we can make a parametric curve which is going to be the second curve we're going to use and then use it for the arc so